Are you homeless? Yeah, right now. Yeah, how long have you been homeless? I was homeless before. For about seven years. But then I went to my family house and I left. Then I met this young lady and, I, and we got together. And I stayed with her for about maybe three years. We were supposed to get married, but then what happened? Okay, how old are you? For me? Yes. 57. 57. And when's your birthday? Uh, March 14th. And what did you do for a living when you were working? I used to, I was in the Army. Then I came out of the Army. And then I used to work at a, a, a printing shop. Mm, okay. And how long did you work at, how long were you in the Army? I was in the army for uh, three years. Three years? And at the printing shop? About two years. And I was going down south. Uh, down south where? Uh, Savannah, Georgia. And uh, I came to New York when I was young. Mm -hmm. I stayed with my mother. But uh, I, I left. Yeah. Uh, is your mother still living? Yeah. Is your father still living? Yep. Um, do you still keep in contact with them? Not really. Uh, why not? I don't know. Oh, okay. It, it appears to me that there was a time in your life that you fell upon hard times, uh, and which caused you to be living on the street. So, can you tell me about that time in your life when you feel that uh, the, the change happened? Kid mother be separated. My son got killed by his own cousin. Okay? Then his birthday is August 17th. Next month, he's been dead about six years now. So, what happened was, I used to go hang out with my friends and stuff. Then me and my woman, we was going through a little difficult. So I stayed out. And I was seeing other girls. I used to go to clubs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, things fell apart, man. And I used to go with this girl right down the block because me and my mom wouldn't get along. So I used to come in every morning. And the girl lived two blocks from us. I used to go with a girl across the street. And one holiday, I think, what would you like? And she came down there and told me I'd give her keys. I said, I'm not giving you nothing. So she went and did what she had to do. And I went and did what I had to do. And I knew it was going to work out. So one uh, day I came home, she done changed the locks. She got my clothes packed out in the stories. So I took her to my mother's house. You know what I'm saying? I took it to my mother's house. Like a refrigerator box, one of the big boxes. So I came back in my clothes. All my clothes burned up. My mother said she had to move. You know what I'm saying? And then she burned up the clothes. So, so since then you were living on the street? No. I, I miss people. So how, how, old you when, how old were you when that happened? The story that you just told me, how old were you when that happened? I was about maybe 38, going on 40 or something. Okay. And you had just finished, are we, at the time, were you still working at the print shop? No. Uh, okay, what, what were you doing then? Were you employed? I was unemployed. Okay. And what happened to the print shop job? Uh, I had to walk too much, man. Okay. So I left after, after one, um, I left after the holidays, one New Year's Eve. Yeah. I left. Yeah, what do you mean you had to walk too much? Because I was a messenger. So I had to walk, 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 walk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that was here in New York or? Yeah. Down south, okay. Now, do you have any children? I got. Three kids. 
Yeah, one of my son is dead. And I got two more daughters. Uh, yeah, how old are your daughters? The net. She got to be about 15 now. Uh, and the other one? My, my other daughter is about 10. Mm, okay. Uh, do you keep in contact with them or are you not? No. Because I don't know where they at. Okay. Do you feel that you should look for them? No. Or are you no, embarrassed about your situation? Um, are, you, are you embarrassed about your situation now? I'm not embarrassed. I'm just hurt. Yeah, do you think they they don't want to see you or? I know they're looking for me. Yeah, are they living down south or in New York? They're in New York. And uh, have have you tried to find them? No. Yeah, what do you do to try to find them? I'll be asking people. Okay. Do you think do you think they want to see you? Not really. Thank my daughter and then to see. Me. Uh, do you think you have anything to teach them that uh, perhaps they need to be knowing now? Maybe how to deal with guys or you know, just advice in life in general? Yeah. And so why don't you uh, try to contact them? I'm going to keep them. But they're not hard to find, especially now with the internet and, you know, I'm sure well, they're I don't just... Know how to uh, well, but I'm, I'm sure you must know someone that has their phone number, don't you? I don't know when. Oh, no. uh, hey, um, uh, I just said when I had money, I used to give my um, her mother money. But she, I had uh, running the street, messed the money up. Uh, I used to give it to a friend of mine, and she used to give her the money. And she said, don't give her no more money, because what she's going to do is... Do what you gotta do. Yeah, so, so you feel the only way to be in your daughter's life is if you give them money? No. So, so uh, if you if you were to see your daughters now, what would you tell them? I love you. Sorry. Yeah. Leave your mother. Good make it. Yeah, and uh, both your daughters have the same mother? No. Okay, so one of your daughters... Wait, you have a son that you said passed away, right? Yeah. His birthday will be next month. Yeah, on the 17th. Uh, the 17th. Now, Always. Does he have the same mother as your first daughter? No. So there's three different mothers? Right. Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit about your son, son passing away, please. Uh, when, uh, one day, he got an argument with a guy in Brooklyn. And, um, uh, he bought the guy. So after he bought the guy, the guy left. So my son threw him on the ground while you ain't fighting. So my son went across the street to get a solar. He was gonna get in his car. He shot him in the back. Because of that. And how did, I mean, were you with his mother at the time? No. And uh... I found out through my my mother, she called my mother and told me to get in contact with me. Uh, how soon after your son died did you find out that it happened? Maybe a week. And how, how, how did that uh, take you? How did that, uh, what did you think about that? It was wrong. His own cousin. It was wrong. He's in jail now. For life? Yeah, a long time. Uh, and the, and what, what was uh, his mother's reaction to you when it happened? She told me, she said, uh, we didn't really talk in the group. Yeah. Uh, Boxy Brown was at the group. So we sit side by side because she, she got a man. But mm -hmm. When I left her sister house, they picked me up in the car. They called my name and I saw her. Mm -hmm. So I say, is you all right? She didn't say nothing. I know she was hurt. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She was hurt. Yeah. I was hurt. Yeah. I, I see it still affects you when you talk yeah. about him. Now, how old was he when he died? Uh, 20, how old? 23. Okay. So he, he, he was a very young man. Did he have children? Yeah. 
you're, you're uh, my grandpa is, is, is uh, uh, Jonathan Draco. Uh, so he had, he had one son? Yeah. One son? And have you met him? Yeah. And does he look like your son? He looks like me. Just like you. Okay. Just like me. So what do you think about that? Is there some another man out there with this uh, young young guy out there with the same face that you do? Uh, do do you feel like getting close to him ever? Maybe sometimes. A lot of people say that's your son. Uh, I just say no. No, we just close. Yeah. yeah so, so, and they live in New York. Yeah. Now, how, see, I guess what it's going to be hard to for a lot of people to understand is that you have family out there. So why not try to get in contact with them to see if you guys can help each other out? I think I got too much pride, man. I'm a Pisces. I got a lot of pride in me. Um, but but at, I got to give it up. But at the same time, you're out here asking uh, people for change. Right. So I don't ask my family for nothing. But your family, you won't ask for anything, right? I don't get it. So, but what's the difference asking people for change and asking your family who are supposed to be of your blood, who are your blood for, for help so you can perhaps get back on your feet? Because I don't want to say I owe I don't want to say I, you owe me. Okay. So, so let, let's say, let, let's say you met one of your family members today and, you know, they saw you and they offered their assistance, would you take that assistance? I would take it, but they're going to lecture me. Why, yeah. man? Why? Yeah. Do you have any vices? Do you smoke? Do you drink? Which one do you do? You do? I smoke cigarettes, and I may drink a beer once in a while. Yeah. Have you ever been in jail? Yeah. Yeah. Four? Uh, Fights, arguments. Yeah, how do you when those times happen? When that happened? By the time I went to jail when I was 21. 21? Uh, and what, what was that for? Uh, uh, we got in a fight. Uh, it, it was that with, with, with who? And what was it over? Yeah, uh, another guy. Another guy? What was the fight about? Do you remember? Yeah. Walking by, and um, he started cursing me out. Mm -hmm. And I came back. And I said, Why are you talking to me like that? Yeah. And so he swung at me. And yeah. everything else went. You know, and the police came up on a rock boat or something. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and so you have a criminal record? Right. And when it. Well, how did that affect you, having a criminal record? I felt, I said, man, you know how it affect me? Sometimes I'm glad I went to jail, because it probably saved my life by here. Were you embarrassed when you went to jail? No. No? Were you, were you raised by your mother and father? My father and my mother. Yeah. My father lived down south. OK. And so you grew up, where did you grow up? In uh, Georgia. In Georgia, okay. So, so, I mean, when you went to jail for the first time, how did uh, how did your mother react? Uh, excuse me, how did your father react? He didn't know. He didn't know. Cause he down south. I ain't calling. And your father and your mother? I didn't call her neither. I didn't want to know I was in jail. So that was the first time you were 21 years old. Right. And, and I stopped going back, 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 back. Okay. So how many times would you say you've been in jail? You can round it off if you want. 